I didn't build this website to impress people or do it for a client. I built it because I wanted to have a greater understanding on what file systems were in an operating system. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how and why I built this website and exactly what is within this website and the type of information that you are going to be able to receive from it. Not as a pro developer, not as an expert, and not trying to do this for no type of money. Simply doing this just to hopefully be able to explain to beginners what a file system is and also just for a little bit of fun on my end. But this is from someone who is just learning this as well trying to understand what I'm studying and building a website to help me memorize it. So if you're studying for the CompTIA A plus and or are new to IT, this is the video for you. So one thing I noticed while studying IT is that it feels really easy to think that you know something until you need to explain it. File systems sounded simple as FERT. At first you had the NTFS, XFAT, the FAT32, and I was like, okay, this is easy. But then the more that I studied, the more it just felt like I was memorizing names other than what exactly they were. So I asked myself, if I needed to teach this to a beginner, could I? And that was when I decided to build this website because it forces me to explain something I've learned to people who may not understand it. And that's literally the whole job of working in IT or one of the main jobs, not for a client, not for money, just for understanding. The homepage is intentionally simple. I didn't want to overwhelm anyone, including myself. I wrote this like I'd explain it to a friend. This website is designed to help beginners understand file systems in a simple, clear, and practical way. That sentence is important because that is literally the main purpose of this whole website. Because when I build projects like this, it's not just about the coding, it's just about reinforcing what I've learned. This section was actually harder than it looks. Explaining what a file system is without using confusing language forces you to finally understand it. I learned that a file system isn't just where files go, it's how the operating system knows where the files are. This is why I paired the text with images because I'm more of a visual learner and so I'm just assuming there may be others out there who visually learn this as well. So I decided to put images next to everything that I explained. Building this part made me realize that if I can explain it simply, to other people, then that means that I actually understand it. This section helped me stop thinking in black and white. Before I thought Windows uses NTFS, Linux uses X4. That's it. But building this taught me that file systems exist for different reasons, compatibility, security, performance. That mindset shift matters in the world of IT. IT isn't about memorizing answers. It's about actually understanding why certain things are there. NTFS is huge for CompTIA permissions encryption journaling. While coding this card, I kept asking, what would they test me on? This one taught me why compatibility matters more than the feature sometimes, XFAT, this clicked when I thought about flash drives and external storage, and then X4, even though it's Linux, it helped me understand how different operating systems solve the same problem. So design-wise, I decided to keep it dark and making sure that I use gold. Now this is just an overall brand that I like to do, particularly because when it came to web dev, I used to use black and blue. So I decided to just switch the color up and use black and yellow. And this is going to be kind of like a constant thing because um, every time I jump to a different chapter, it should be a new color. <laughs> and this project has changed how I study IT. Instead of watching videos endlessly or constantly rereading, I just build it. When you build, you're forced to make decisions. You're forced to come up with a certain way of understanding just so you could explain it simply to others. And that's where I feel like the real learning ends up occurring. So if you're watching this and you feel behind, do not worry. If you feel confused, that's normal. And this site isn't even finished, but neither am I. But every project like this brings me closer to becoming that IT professional that I want to be. If this helped you even a little bit, stick around because I am going to be documenting this journey daily on my live stream and every other day on these YouTube videos of me becoming an IT professional. We are going to be building this together. So make sure you end up hitting that like button, that subscribe button, and I'll be catching y'all in the next one. Deuces.